This week, we're making penguin plushies. This week's project is this cute, cuddly little penguin plushie that is completely no-so. It uses hot glue to turn a mitten and a few other craft supplies into a cuddly little friend. From your full Steam Ahead kit or gathered from home, you'll need a couple of different colors of felt, half of a standard pipe cleaner bent in half, some googly eyes, an old sock, a black mitten, some sort of fluff, some hot glue, scissors, and a little bit of rice or lentils or beans. First off, we need to alter our mitten to turn it into the right shape for our penguin. What we're going to do is invert the thumb into the inside of the mitten and glue that closed. You could do this activity with the toe of a sock if you like, but I like having the cuff at the bottom to help provide a little bit of structure. Just apply a nice thin line of glue and squeeze that shut. This should definitely be an adult doing this step. And make sure you are being patient for at least 30 seconds to hold that closed to allow it to dry fully. You can see that your finished penguin is going to have that little seam at the back so it won't be completely noticeable. Once that glue has dried, you can flip it inside out and use your scissors to trim that excess off so it doesn't leave a bulge on the inside of your penguin. If you forget that step though, it's not really that much of a deal. We are going to stuff our penguins next and our kits have included these sheets of cotton batting. Make sure you take the time to tear it all apart to make it nice and fluffy instead of just one big sheet. Add a nice big fluffy handful of stuffing to the sock. We want to make sure our penguin is nice and fluffy and soft and cuddly. You can always add more or take some out if you think it is too much, but this is about what you want it to look like. To help our penguin stand up on its own, we are going to add a little bag of rice to the very bottom above where the feet are. Your kit has included a new sock, but this is a great thing to do with those little socks who've lost their partners along the way. Just cut it off until you've got a little bag about this size and add about a quarter cup of some sort of grain like rice or popcorn or lentils. Give that a little bit of a shake to make sure it's all securely in the bottom and wrap a elastic band around it to make sure it all stays secure. Now we are going to put this little bag into our penguin. We need to make sure that the gathered part is facing the inside of the penguin and that the smooth round part is going to be down at the bottom where the feet are going to go. Make sure you press that in nice and securely and then just double check to make sure that the whole thing is as fluffy as you want. Once we do our next step, you won't be able to add any more stuffing. So this is the time to make it fluffier if you need to. We are now using hot glue to add the feet. This is what the bottom's going to look like when you're done. We're going to have our little tail pushing out and the pipe cleaners are making a base for the feet. Make sure an adult is doing this part as it is all with hot glue. Make sure that seam is at the back of your penguin. Your pipe cleaner should be folded in half and you're tucking the point of the V into the penguin so that the V goes towards the back and then you're going to be folding the front part over top. Try that out before glue to make sure you've got that right. Apply some hot glue on top of the rice filled sock towards the back where the tail is going to be and a little bit on the inside of the cuff that's going to be folded over. The back edge of the cuff should still be free on the outside and now add a little bit of hot glue right in that little bend there and then fold it down. This is going to help make a sort of tail shape that's going to look pretty cute at the back when it's all done. Now we're going to get our legs ready. You're just going to fold your pipe cleaners forward and then double them back on themselves right like that. You can give each of them a little bit of a twist to help hold them together. These are making little bases that we are going to glue our foot shapes on when we have cut them out of felt. 
Nice, we are getting closer. You can start to see the penguin taking shape. Now all we've got left are the details. So we are going to start off with the belly. I have just made mine a simple oval shape. If you have limited materials, if you've gotten the kit and don't have a lot of extra craft supplies at home, you might like to make a practice version on some paper to make sure you're happy with your shape. Either way, once you've got your shape cut out, make sure that that is what you want and don't glue it on right away. Wait until you've got all of your different elements to see how you want to place them on your finished penguin before you glue them down. I'm going to use this piece of yellow felt to make both feet and the beak. So I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to use one half to make the two feet and the other half to make the beak. You can design your penguin however you want, but I am going to make my feet with three little toes. And I feel pretty confident about cutting both of them at the same time, but that might be a little tricky, especially depending on what your scissors are like. So I'm going to round one corner off on these squares, and then I'm going to cut the little toe shapes into them. Again, you might like to draw yourself a guide with a marker, or you can make a practice one out of some paper, or maybe your penguin doesn't even have yellow feet. Maybe it's got sneakers, maybe it has ballet slippers. It is completely up to you. But once you have got your penguin's foot shapes done, we can move on to the next part. There, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to make one more. Next up, let's make the beak. I like to make a beak by folding a piece over and using that fold as the part that's going to have the hinge for the beak. I'm going to cut a pointy shape in both sides so that it will be able to open and close. And then I actually have a special technique that I like to use to make a beak. Again, you can make yours however you want, but if you like, this is a fun way of making a sort of three-dimensional beak. Okay, I think that's the right size I want. So now what I'm going to do is a special fancy little technique to try to give it a really interesting character. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the inside right where it folds, and then I'm going to pinch it while it's still drying to give it a little ridge on the top. That's going to allow it to look kind of like it's smiling or sometimes it gives it a really funny look on its face and it gives it a really cute character. Uh, so give that one a try if you like, but it's your beak, so you do what you want. Last but not least, our penguin needs some wings. Penguins have got kind of long, skinny, pointy wings, but again, it's your penguin, so you get to design it however you want. But I'm going to fold my black piece in half and give it a little cut down the middle. And I feel pretty confident, so I'm going to cut both of them at the same time. But if that is too tricky, just do one at a time. That is perfectly fine too. We'll cut that long pointy shape and then just place them on the sides and see if they are the right shape. And you know what? I think they are. I think I'm happy with that. Now we are just gluing our features on. If you're using a hot glue gun, make sure an adult is helping with this part. Most of these features should be able to be glued on with some regular craft glue if you are patient. However, hot glue might be the way to get the craft that lasts the longest, especially if people are going to be playing with it. So make sure you have it exactly lined up where you want it. And that looks pretty good. With hot glue, make sure you're giving it a few seconds to dry before you move on to the next step. And if you're using wet craft glue, you're probably going to be very patient. Place each of your features on your penguin's body before you put glue on it, just to make sure you're really happy with where it goes. And there you go, you're getting very close to a happy little penguin. This one's got a very goofy looking look on its face. I love it. Okay, we're going to put the wings on next. 
It's totally up to you where you put those, but somewhere on the side is probably great. You might want your penguin to always be giving a high five or be very excited so you can make those wings pointing straight up in the air, or maybe it's running very fast and its wings are sticking out the back. It's totally up to you. To glue the feet on, you probably want to use hot glue to help the felt stick to the pipe cleaners. Just put the hot glue directly on the pipe cleaner and gently press your felt shapes down and be patient with that as well. Everyone's favorite step, add some googly eyes and you're gonna have yourself a fantastic looking penguin. If you've got some extra scraps of felt, you can use them to make a bow tie like mine, or maybe it's got a crown, or maybe it's holding a fish. It's totally up to you. Give it some accessories, make it your own, give it some crazy hair. I hope you have a fantastic time making a penguin, and I hope you share some pictures with me. Full Steam Ahead is offered by Fort St. John Public Library nearly every Saturday, and is supported by Shell. We hope you join us another time and check out some of our previous videos and projects.